we are going to integrate secant to the 6 power x. And once again, here are the strategies. As you can see, the first one will be suitable in our situation because I don't see tangent x in the integral in the first place, isn't it? So I would like to begin by pulling up two of the secant on the side and then let's see if we can write the first part in terms of tangent x. Right here, this will be the integral. Let's look at the first part in terms of the parentheses for now. But then I want to have secant to the second power x dx on the side. Well, originally we have to the sixth power. We took two of them out. We will just have secant to the fourth power x, isn't it? So we are done with this part. But now I'll have to rewrite the first part in terms of tangent x. Can we do that easily? Yes, we can, because this is secant to the fourth power. It's an even power. It's a multiple of two. This is the same as saying secant square x, and then raise that to the second power, isn't it? Square, square, we have the fourth power. And the reason we do that is because we have to look at secant square x, then we can use this identity to help us out. So let's see. This will be the integral. Let me open a parenthesis. Inside here, we know this is secant square x. That will be this one. Tangent square x plus, plus 1. Tangent square x plus 1. And then that's still to the second power. Let me just put it down like this. And then we have the secant square x dx on the side. As you can see, the first part is now in terms of tangent x. So we can proceed by saying that u equals to tangent x, and we can differentiate both sides. du will be the derivative of tangent x, would be secant x squared dx, and we can take this into the real world. This will be the integral tangent square x, it will be the u square. We have u square plus 1. And then raised to the second power. On the side, we have secant square x dx. This differential is exactly the same as du. So you can just rewrite this as du. And this is very easy, well, at some degree, <laughs> to integrate in the real world. This is much easier compared to the original. And the way to do this is, of course, we have to expand this out. We will have the integral u squared plus 1 squared. We get we can multiply it out, we can use a formula. The formula says I square the first one, which will be u to the fourth power, and I add it with 2 times this times that. So we have 2 times u squared times 1, so that's just 2u squared. At the end, I add the square of this, which is just 1 squared, which is just 1. The u, like that. All right. From here, we can integrate in the u world. It's just a polynomial. Integral of u to the fourth power, we get 1 fifth u to the fifth power. And then for this one, we get plus. I add 1 to the exponents, that will be 3, and divide by that. So 2 thirds u to the third power. And then the integral of 1 in the u world is just plus u. We are done in the u world. Now we just have to go back to the x world. So we will have. 1 fifth, and this time the u is tangent x, so I'll just put down tangent to the fifth power x plus 2 thirds tangent to the third power x, and then we add it with tangent x. We are done. Put a plus c right here. That's it.